Welcome back. Well, the drought continues across the area and has been expanding. This was last week's imagery. Let's go to this week's up to today's update as of this Thursday. And again, you can see how uh, the drought has been expanding, especially the severe drought going back to a few days ago. And we get the update on Thursday. You can see that severe drought expanding across southwest Louisiana, building across portions of eastern Louisiana, the northwestern part of the state, and also the uh, the areas that weren't too terribly dry are getting drier on their way to moderate drought status. So uh, hopefully some showers down the road, but no promises on that as we get toward the latter part of the 10 day forecast. The near term issue, dense fog advisory in effect after midnight through about 10 a.m. It looks like uh, conditions will be ripe for fog formation, maybe not all across Acadiana. We'll qualify that in just a bit. High pressure overhead, large and in charge. So that means fair skies across the region and we get out into the tropics. There's a beast of a hurricane, 160 mile per hour winds earlier today, category five storm out in the Pacific. This is uh, Hurricane Christie, but this system is going to be uh, fizzling out in the open Pacific, not affecting anyone and will die a death in about four to five, maybe six days. So no concerns with that system, nor any of the Atlantic per the next seven days. But by days six, seven and eight, we may be watching the Northwestern Caribbean as we take a look at the European model building moisture. It looks like the uh, Central American gyre may try to spin something up down here. And at the same time, some moisture will be streaming into the Gulf. There'll be a frontal trough nearby, so maybe some rain chances. So this is what the Euro looks like through early Sunday, uh, 10 days down the road. And this is what the GFS is doing, uh, spinning up, which looks to be maybe a potential hurricane, but uh, high pressure ridge is going to keep it bottled up here. So uh, we'll watch that for the Bahamas, the Caribbean, maybe South Florida, but too early to call on that. For us, we're in good shape. High pressure is large and in charge. Mid 80s again tomorrow. Mid 80s again as we head into Saturday afternoon with mostly sunny skies. By Sunday, the ridge of high pressure begins to shift a little bit farther to the east. So eventually, that means higher humidity for us as we head into next week. Near term, though, this is the latest model guidance on fog, mainly along and north of the I-10 corridor. It's not going for as much down along the coast, but I think I'd add this down toward the coast. The models thinking there's going to be a little bit more of a southerly wind down here that could keep uh, elevated, the fog elevated and more of a cloud layer. We also will see that in our true view forecast coming up and then that fog obviously burns off pretty quickly in the morning. Look out for fog bows. I have a couple on my page earlier today that were shot uh, this morning with that light fog, that ground fog that we see. Mid 50s to upper 50s for the northern portions of Acadiana tonight, upper 50s to lower 60s I-10 quarter. So a little bit milder, a little bit more more humid out there as well. Of course, we have that high humidity. That's when you get the fog as well. 86 to 87 degrees for most of us tomorrow afternoon. Few spots maybe at 85, but by and large, quite warm for the time of year when our average this time of year is generally in the upper 70s. Average overnight lows in the mid to upper 50s. So tonight, 60 the low. That's the symbol for fog there uh, with fair skies early and that fog developing and thickening later on tonight. That fog, though, burns off pretty quickly in the morning. Again, maybe a cloud deck first thing in the morning, but by the afternoon, mostly sunny skies returning. 86 the high, not much wind out there as well. Light and variable to southeasterly at 0 to 5. The risk of fog again tomorrow night into Saturday morning, upper 80s into next week, and then hopefully some limited rain chances return to the area with a scatter showers, possibly a thunder shower, but don't count on a whole lot, but anything is better than what we've seen over the last month and a half. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more coming up in just a little bit.